what a wild week it's a wild month it's been for the montana boys um you guys moved to nashville and are thrown on tmz all over the place you guys doubled your following went from three hundred thousand followers to what is it 710 now yeah well um just completely thrown into the fire you want to talk about blowing up no it's crazy numbers no that's like ridiculous like I looked at your guys' views and I added it up, and you guys are at seventy-seven million views this month, which is ridiculous. Yeah. A lot of eyes on you, Mark. A lot, a lot of, of eyes. A lot of eyes. How do you feel about that? Um, honestly, like I haven't really like sat down necessarily, and, like really thought about like especially like statistics like that. But I mean, just like not let the highs get too high, not the lows get too low. Yeah. So seventy-five. I mean, if you think about it, seventy-five million people. What, what's the biggest football stadium? I have no idea. So um, that would be like 110,000. Yeah. I mean, Michigan is a huge stadium. Yeah. 110,000 people fit in there. Think about you're standing in the middle um, doing one number away from Colin to you <laughs> in the middle of the football stadium. And then all of a yeah. sudden it's 75 million people. That's like. That's insane, actually. You put it like that. <laughs> that is. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Watching you do one number away. Yeah, it is. That is ridiculous. Imagine that in the middle of a stadium. Yeah, that's actually. Holding 77 million people. You think yeah, my website would get better or worse? <laughs> Probably worse. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Fisher how would be are you so right bad at the whole lip syncing thing? Oh, yeah. I don't understand that. I don't know, dude. I just freaking send it, and if I don't get it right, fuck it. Well, from what I found out was when we got there to film, Mark's like, "Wait, what are the words?" And he's like, <clears> and we're like, "I don't." He's like, "I don't know. I'll just see what happens." <laughs> he just goes out there and just starts singing random stuff. It makes it way funnier though. It does. Sometimes you get it right though, which is impressive because you really don't know the words before the audio plays. Yeah, I guess I'm just guessing it sometimes. Yeah, you know? that's impressive. A lot of people, whenever they start blowing up, they just start changing. Mark's been like, when I passed Fisher in fame, like I didn't change up at all. You've not passed me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's not what Famous Birthday is saying this month. Does it really? <laughs> yes. Did you pass me on Famous Birthday? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, man. Did you really? I did, I got to see that. I ha we I screenshotted did. it. No way. Yeah. yeah. Did I fall off? <laughs> no, yeah, you're no, going you're, down. you're like rated like uh, actually 11,000. You're yeah. the 11,000. And what is he? And uh, he's like the 10,088. No way. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what is this exactly? Good job. I've never so heard of this. Basically, famous birthdays like rates you on your fame. The Montana boys were 700. Yeah. They <clears throat> edited it every single day based off of views, based off of, there's a bunch of other things that go into it. I'm sure there's like some kind of algorithm. But basically, you guys were the 711th. And Sadie McKenna was like twelve hundred, so you guys are you guys are popping. That's crazy. They are actually. popping. What are you? Ever. I was nine thousand. Dang. I was nine thousand. Yeah, dude. You no. know what? You, they, they called uh, Luke a TikTok star, Fisher, Fisher a TikTok star, and then they called the Montana boys uh, a boy band. Oh they're, my oh God. God. they're a boy band. That's I've seen comments on that. People dude, like, I, I thought y'all were a boy band. People think we're like singers down here or something. I guess they probably think you sing one. It's just a away. boy group. It's like a boy group. <laughs> yeah. I'd say like a boy group. Yeah, like a little boy group. Kind yeah. of like the Nelk Boys, yeah, but not as sick. Oh, and not <laughs> yeah, sick. that's pretty sick. Are the Nelk Boys a boy band? How did the Montana Boys start? We were playing Beer Die, if you guys know what that is, and uh, we were just kind of, you know, we we're buzzing, and we we're, I think Willie or someone was like, "Hey, let's let's throw up a TikTok." So you guys were just playing beer, got drunk, and then you guys yeah, threw up a TikTok, and it went viral. <laughs> yeah, and it freaking went off, and then we we're like, "That's there's actually it started with four of us actually." Shout out Brandon Morley, but um. Yeah, then we made, like, a couple more that summer, though. We weren't even, like, trying, though. It's, like, I think we maybe did, like, four TikToks that whole summer. And all of them just went? Yeah, and all of them just went. And then we took, like, a year off or something like that. Last March is when we really started taking it serious. Then we took it serious all summer. And then last football season, we posted just a couple. And so we've been, like, back on full time, I guess, since we graduated in December. Who would you, who would you say is the ringleader of the Montana boys? I, I think it depends what we're doing. Who, like who's coming up with the creative stuff who would you say the brains is behind this um i mean there's not really not much brains lining up <laughs> li lining up in a line and being like what number no, <laughs> so i mean but eventually eventually yeah. there's gonna have to be brains there's gonna have to be yeah. brains or else you guys will you know we're gonna find a purpose or find a you know we're gonna we're gonna change it up i think we're gonna start bringing more like personality kind of into mm -hmm. like our tiktoks you know which can be hard, you know, bringing Very your personality in. Yeah. It's hard. Just, you know, you should beep, 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 and then all of a sudden it's filming. Yeah. And it's hard to act how you actually are. You it's know? more fun, though, too, though. Yeah, it, it's fun. It's more. It's way more fun to be able to show your personality. That's why podcasts are, are fun, and that's why we do this shit. Yeah, was insane last, numbers. last golf video did well. Like, the, you posted a long time ago, mic'd up. On oh, the yeah, yeah, Golf yeah. course. Yep. And we tried to do that oh, again, yeah. but we uh, phone died. So. It's like our third time trying to, trying to do it out there, too. We should do it tomorrow. 
Okay. We could. I wanted to be in it. I always miss those days. You could do like a little little series on on the cruise. There's mm-hmm. mini golf. There you go. Yeah, I'll mic up go. there and we can have a mic. minute. Dang it. Dude, ah. I'd be terrified to go on a cruise, Fisher. I know. I'm freaking out low key, but I think it's going to be fine. Throw that statistic again out there. 200 people a year go missing on cruise ships. And I get on a cruise ship tomorrow. <laughs> I, I mean, just told if, them that. If you think about it from a numbers perspective. 200 people is not that much. Go, going missing. Bro, that's so no, no, no. How many people do you think are going on the cruise? I mean, there's a ton of people that go on a cruise a year. You're right. But yeah, I just wouldn't expect 200 yeah. a year. But a cruise should be a yeah, pretty safe environment. I'd be freaking out on a cruise, man. I'm a little nervous. I'll be fine, though, right? It'll be good. Imagine getting seasick. You're just stuck. <sighs> or like those pirates come up on you on this yeah. boat. <laughs> yeah. Dude, imagine a whole other boat comes up and just takes over. I what didn't know that pirates were still a thing until I saw like this little small boat full of gunmen just yeah. taking on a cruise yeah, ship. Jack, yeah. Spar- Jack Sparrow comes onto your boat. Yeah. That's, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be crazy. Um, so so tell us about your football career. Um, my high school is actually, uh, I went to high school in Drummond, Montana, which is a very small town. Um, there was like 80 to 100 kids in the whole, whole high school. Mm-hmm. And I went from there from freshman year to junior year. And then I transferred to a double A class, which is, has more kids in it, bigger city. And then I went to Glacier. But yeah, it was crazy growing up in a small community like that. It was mm-hmm. fun. So was the Montana was that big time football, high school football? It, it, it's competitive, I think. I mean, it's obviously not as competitive as like Texas or California, obviously. But there's some good athletes in Montana for sure. Don't weren't you playing like eight man football or some shit? I was when I went to Drummond. It was eight man football. So from freshman year to junior year. So so you have to you had to transfer to go like be able to play in college right it definitely opens up more opportunities you think you can get recruited playing eight-man football there's some good athletes that come out of uh eight-man football for sure so would you say the montana boys were good students in college um i wouldn't say that but you know we got our degree so we passed we had covid and a redshirt year so i was in college for technically five and a half years what was your degree in um in disciplinary arts and science Boring. Things. Wait, what is it? The school that I transferred to didn't have the degree I started with at the other school, so I had to just pretty much get in whatever was the most broad degree I could get. Plan in. on using that degree anytime? I don't think so. All right. I don't think I'm be an art teacher or whatever that involves, but <laughs> that would be awesome. Keep, I could see Mark keep lining running. up with the boys. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. line up with the uh, the sixth graders and just tell them one number away. <laughs> so you uh, grew up in Montana. What about like your family? Any siblings? Yeah, I have an older brother. Uh, he's two years older than me. Um, he's a diehard hunter, fisherman. That's where I get all my, you know, like hardcore Montana roots from for sure. So you hunt and fish? Is that yeah, a big thing? That's big a passion. Thing, big passion. I'd say it's, I'd say it's my favorite hobby is hunting, then fishing and dirt biking. Yeah, you need to start implementing that to TikTok. Is that like a plan? No, yeah, it is actually. I'm just gonna go about it in the right way. I, I watch some hunting videos and they get crazy views. Yeah, <laughs> and- I just feel bad about the hunting thing. I feel like. I look at I look at a I look at a deer and I just see Bambi, and I'm just like, Luke, you are the same way, dude. When we went hunting, bro, don't look at me with those eyes. I wasn't looking at you anyway. I don't. No, I. Luke's not like that. You're not soft about hunting. No, Luke's pretty soft, bro. I mean, I'd shoot a big old buck, but I'm not gonna shoot anything. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't just shoot anything either. But this guy wouldn't even shoot a buck. I feel like. I mean, if I was eating it for sure, and I needed to, absolutely. Okay, well, I go hunting with Luke and Dalton. Right, this is my first time hunting with Dalton. I get in my own blind. They're up there in a barn or whatever, looking down this field. We're all looking in the field, different spots. About 20 minutes into the hunt, I look up. Luke and Dalton's shirts both off, <laughs> filming TikToks, and I was pissed. We got no. bored. 20 minutes in. No. 20. We got dude, bored. It was boring. It was boring, dude. There I won't hate on it because your videos did do really well. Those are some of your top videos for this yeah. guy, but still, you kind of ruined the day for me there. Did we ruin the deal? Were you actually pissed at us? I was pissed for a minute because we were literally like 10, 15 minutes in, 20 minutes in. I was like, no way. Well, that's why we were going to delay the starting time just a little bit. We were already (laughs) out there late, so it was about to be Fisher's just pissed because he was freezing his ass off in the ground It wasn't even cold. It was cold. No. Really? It was nice. It was beautiful out. Was this back in Chattanooga? Yeah. Yeah, back to my grandparents' farm. Chattanooga. Mark, do you think uh, do you think all this publicity you're getting is it getting to your head at all? Like, do you feel do you feel differently? I mean, seventy five million views that's a that's a shit ton of views. Honestly, no, I wouldn't say it's like changed my personality or demeanor or anything. It's stressful, you know, at the end of the day, but you know, that's that's why we're here. Would, would you though. say would you say the comments and stuff are like primarily negative or primarily positive? I think it depends on the video. Like, some videos do really well and are pretty positive, and some all it gets negative. But. Mm-hmm. 
I think at first, when I first started, it kind of bothered me, but now, like, I don't know, it doesn't even, it's, it's like, crazy. whatever, you know? Yeah. I get excited when I see hate comments. I'm like, I think hilarious. some are pretty fucking funny, too. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. really Would you say, funny. I feel like you're now, just now getting the the hate comments, like yeah, a lot of them. Definitely. Whenever you go viral on any any sort of yeah. platform, it negativity is going to come, you know? Yeah. I mean, people are making fun of, uh, making fun of sketch and shit like that. Um, I know, which I, is like, I would I, never, I can't find I, anything to make fun I, of. I know. I'm like, this kid's awesome. I think he's fucking hilarious. Like, how could you make fun of him? And, um, the only reason he's getting made fun of is because I think that people don't like that. It feels like he's acting because they've seen his real personality. So now everyone's like, Oh, this is, this is all a skit. Like this is just planned, you know? Yeah. But that's what streaming is. And I feel like he's really not act. I mean, he might be a little bit, you know, but like, yeah. He's pretty real, in my opinion. I feel like you've been kind of the the primary focus of the Montana boys. Do you think the other guys get jealous at all? Just because you've been on TMZ and you know you've been all over the place. Do you see them getting jealous at all? No, they don't see that as well. We kind of look at everything just kind of like as a whole, like as the Montana boys. It's not like it's not like separate people or or anything like that. I feel like they're more proud of it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If anything, just yeah. from what I see. We're really supportive of each other and like and really conscious of like how we go about things for sure about it but yeah i think they're more supportive than anything yeah Mm -hmm. i could see that yeah i could see that and i think that with anything um there's going to be jealousy and then there's going to be like that's my dog like i'm so proud of him type thing Mm -hmm. um so i think that you got some good boys there the jealousy could be a good thing it could push them to do more you know and kind of like work towards getting that even though mark just got thrown into the fire by accident you know um how did you how did you end up um reaching out and talking to christina Kristen, Kristen, sorry, Kristen. Kristen. I'm terrible with names. <laughs> Christina. Christina. I'm Kristen Cavalier. Yeah. What, uh, how did y'all get mixed up? Um, so I uh, actually was, I don't know, sending a shot, and I was on the Montana Boys account, and I didn't know at the time, and then I said, you know, I sent a DM to her, and then we woke up the next day, and Willie was like, who DM Kristen? I was like, oh, fuck. I meant to do that on my own account. What did you, you say to her? I think I said, I love you. That's I think awesome. I was. I think I was buzzed. I was like at a. I think the timestamp was definitely later, like later in the night. That so is wild. Just, that is wild. That's a, that's, a, that's a shot. For definitely woke up midnight. so hyped though. Yeah, I was like, let's go, let's go. But Did yeah, I'm glad I did it on the Montana Boys account though, because I think that I don't think she would have seen it if it was on my personal. Mm-hmm. It was a good play. I saw some things that she was already talking about you. She talked about you on her podcast. She saw your videos like a year ago or something, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, that's the hottest guy I've ever seen!" Like completely obsessed. She was hoping it was you, that deemed. Oh yeah, I saw yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, 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 she did say that. Yeah. yeah, she definitely had her eye on you for sure. You guys should have been at Quantum today. It was crazy. Who was in there, dude? Like, uh, like over fifteen gym influencers, like six six, just hogs. Just, and then awesome. there was this one little guy, and he was just repping five plates on squat. And me and Fisher were like, "What is happening?" Dude, yeah, that guy was looked insane. Camera crews everywhere. There's, There's like 15 big cameras in there. Yeah. No shit. And me and Fisher were like so awkward about it. Like we were over in the corner Dude, of I got, the gym. I got on this bench and I started doing like shoulder press. <laughs> and then these four girls that were like, like influencers, I guess, were like this close to me taking pictures in the mirror with these big cameras. And I'm just sitting there like this <laughs> doing shoulder <laughs> press. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to look so dumb in that. It was crazy, dude. They were the taking photos today. of you? No, of me. They were taking photos of themselves. There was like 20 and I'm tripods. I'm next to them just doing my workout. So I'm like, it looked like I was going to be in the picture. I mean, they'll probably edit it, but I'm just saying, That's if crazy. I'm in that picture, I'm going to look so They're dumb. like rolling around shirtless, just absolutely. Oh, just, they were, yeah. They were all shirtless and shit. Yeah, they're tripods everywhere, pictures, big yeah. cameras. Mm-hmm. We, they don't allow Yeah, they, I thought Quantum was about those. No tripods. We're not dude. gym influencers, dude. We're not big enough. But the thing is, we have a, like more followers than a lot of them on TikTok, yeah. but their Instagrams are all juiced. I looked them all up. They're juiced. Oh, yeah. Like 500K. Really? Uh, Dude, we were talking about you. We were like, I hope Mark would roll up right now, wife beat her on with a crazy pump, and just go next to him because you look better than most of them. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, Dude, the girls were like, jacked. Dude. Really? Jacked. jacked. And I was like, dude, it was crazy. I was pretty intimidated being in there. I was like, dang. I stayed in the corner the whole time. I was nervous. Are you guys into the gym girls? I, I respect out, the girls but... that get jacked in the gym, but out of a type when it comes to the gym girls. I have a girlfriend, but I'm just saying, like, I'm going to stop talking about this. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Just cut it, lady. Yeah, cut. I'm, I'm sorry. I like I a girl you. that works out and takes her, care of her body, but I don't want a girl with, like, rear delts and, like, you know, bicep yeah. veins. 18-inch biceps. Yeah, that's what some of them today where I was like, dude, you literally have a Dorito back. Like, that's insane. Like, like good you. for you. But 
Not my speed there. Does yeah. uh does Kristen work out? She does, yeah. She's she's really fit. You ever get any workouts with her? Yeah, she is really fit. I yeah, saw I've, that. I've done a couple, but I mean she does her own thing. I do my own thing, you know. I, I'm not something. really into like the cardio and like you know what I mean? It's different. Like I'm training to like look big. Girls yeah. work out a lot different. What girls could I be doing cable curls? This is so random, but I had a dream about the hat you're wearing. Because I remember you came in my room one day and you, I was like, dude, I like that hat. And and then you were like, oh, yeah, it's Combat Waterfowl. And then I had a dream where they like reached out to me and I was super pumped you're about excited. it. Yeah. <laughs> they might reach out to you now. I've got to stop watching Vikings before bed, though, dude, because my dreams have been insane. Like That's just like I'm a king of like some village and I'm. That's a sick Killing thing, thousands of people. Dude, it's That's, aggressive. Really. <laughs> That's aggressive. That's aggressive. That might yeah. just be something wrong with you. Like. No, my dreams are insanely graphic. I don't know. It's honestly... So, sounds stressful. It is, dude. I have a lot going on in my dreams, man. I'm trying to take care of my people. And <laughs> That's why you wake up at 1 o'clock, dude. Yeah. Luke's he's yeah. running a freaking city in his yeah, dream. Yeah. An empire I have right a whole there. different life than <laughs> when I sleep. <laughs> <he> sleeps in. <laughs> Every night I have dreams of just like complete, just mayhem, dude. Yeah, That's we're funny. all we're all uh, at the gym and shit, like getting stuff done. And Luke's in a I'm running my palace. city. Yeah. yeah, he's a king in some other. Do oh, you guys not have awesome. wild dreams like that? I have dreams, but they're just not like that. Yeah, I'm not running a whole a whole empire. <laughs> I and like I every single time I start dreaming, I look at my hands because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to look at your hands. And like go like this with your hands, and then you can understand that you're dreaming. Every dream, I'm like, okay, what? I'm dreaming, and you can do whatever you want, dude. I'm so, what, however I'm, you want. I'm it. so slow in my dreams. I always seem to be like running away from people. Yeah, I'm so slow. I'm and I'm fast, and I'm pissed. I wake yeah. up and I'm like, there's no way I couldn't run away from that guy. For the past probably five years, I've been having dreams about I'm like in high school football, like I'm about to be on the field. And I never make it on the field. I either forget my jersey or I'm like in the shower, or forget Dude, my cleats. Same. I've had I can one of never those too. get on the field. I always had <clears throat> dreams about like my freshman year and I was supposed to be starting opening mm-hmm. day and forget my uniform. Yep. I was just like, no, can't play today. It's 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 so upsetting. And then you try and go back to sleep to try and finish the dream. Yeah, and then you have a nightmare after that or something. I still do sleepwalk all over the place. Yeah, you just ate a full meal the other night in your sleep. Yeah. Yes, dude. He was eating steak. I wake up and there's food all in my bed. It sucks. Back in college, um, we were on the road. I slept walk out of my hotel room into the lobby. Wake up in the lobby. Like, I would be Damn. just all over the place. That's kind of funny. I yeah, I was trying to go to bed the other, other night. It was like 3 o'clock at night. Everybody just hear, like, running down the stairs. So I was like... I'm in my underwear, I'm like, this is game time. Like, where's my hammer? Like, it's let's do this thing. Hear doors opening and closing, people rum- rumbling around in the kitchen. Dalton comes to my room, and I was like, did you, were you up last night? Like, Fisher's out of town. Like, I don't know what's going on. And Dalton's like, no. I was like, what? What are you talking about? I'd be Dalton. doing some wild shit in Is my dreams, bro. I would never wake up in the same spot. I'm on the couch. I'm on the floor. I had a roommate for college, and I would be like, in the middle of the night, just standing up on my bed, like looking around and shit. That's dude. so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> That's so creepy. Does that, do you think that means you're in a really good deep sleep? I don't know. <laughs> it can't be. There's no way. There's no way you could be in a good sleep. Just yeah. in a deep REM, just in the vortex. And you're just, I don't know uh, what that means. I think that's a serious issue. I feel like that would damper <laughs> with your sleep more than like help it. Probably. I used to wake up, I would go to sleep in my bed and I'd wake up on the couch and stuff. But I wasn't <laughs> eating and like actively like doing things yeah. that's impressive you're cooking a steak i'm assuming i didn't cook a steak i had priorly cooked it like meal prep oh have y'all been getting any new brand deals coming in have you guys been seeing new new shit coming in with all the pub definitely yeah we uh did the american eagle one that one we posted already but there's a couple more down the line that we're excited about so anything you guys can talk about or no um honestly no probably yeah. not probably smart yeah. is this y'all's first time like getting stuff like this rolling through it is yeah that's yeah, pretty hype. Yeah. Just recently got my first one too, basically. Me too. The coolest thing ever. I feel like the man for a minute. For a couple um, minutes. I feel 83. like something that's gonna be huge for the Montana boys is is keeping in check your guys' mental health because it's gonna be super easy to just get washed up just like everybody else does into the publicity and you get so just like in a different world where you forget to like check into reality. And I think mental health for you guys is gonna be massive. That was something I wanted to talk about. How is your mental health compared to how it was, you know, before the pub? Um, 
I mean, it's, it's doing all right. Like, it definitely at first it was a little stressful, but like, like I said before, you just can't let the highs get too high and the lows get too low. So, you just gotta keep yourself checked and just kind of, just kind of steadily going. You know? I feel like the Montana boys are the perfect guys to get famous because they don't they really are. care. It's oh, like, yeah. like Mark is just so chill and yeah. doesn't really care that much. Mm-hmm. And then I mean, everybody, the whole, all of the Montana. Yeah, boys, they, I don't see it getting to y'all's head. Ever, y'all are just humble dudes. You guys are the perfect people to get famous. You, I think the the internet is doing uh doing the right thing, getting uh, blowing you guys yeah. up. Yeah. So I do you agree. think you're like your boy band? <laughs> I'm gonna call it your boy band. <laughs> <laughs> like, say one of you guys, and we'll take you for example, blows up, like be out, like your millions, like just what would happen to the other two on your or personal say, account? Or say Caleb blew up. Like, is it to a point where if one of you guys just hits it big? Like, would you financially take care of one of the other ones that wasn't as famous? Or would you find a different place for them to be working for you? Like, will there always um, be a... Yeah, I mean, those are my dogs, you know, I'm their dog. So it's like, you know, whoever makes it, we all we all make it, you know. Exactly. It's kind yeah. of the mindset we have. Well, they're but... great guys. So I mean, I don't see one getting left behind. No, no, not at all. No but way. does it get your <clears throat> head at all? Um because you guys split all of the revenue that you guys make, right? Yep. Three ways. Equally? Um, yeah. It, or is, it, is yeah. it changing a little bit? No. It, it, it's equally. Okay, so you guys split it three ways. Um, do you, What do you think about that? Uh, I mean, that, that was our plan, and it kind of has always been our plan. So, I mean, we're just going to stick with it. You know, if a couple years we find our own purposes and we all go in different directions, then that'll change. But for now, we're just – we're the Montana boys. It doesn't bug you that – you're one of the Montana boys instead of being Mark because when you before you moved to Nashville, I didn't even know your name. I just knew you as one of the Montana boys. That doesn't bug you at all. No, not at all. I think it's I think it's cooler. You know, it's kind of like it's more than yourself in a way. It's just like a bigger picture. You know, it's a does it kind f- of a bigger purpose. Uh, does it feel like sway boy type thing though? No, not like sway boy. I think that's totally different. Down the line, uh, do you guys do you see yourself dispersing from the Montana boys or? How do you see that going? Um, honestly, no. I think we're gonna have always have like the Montana boys, and that's just gonna be kind of like our staple. Our staple, you know. It's just you know, if we want to trickle down and do other things by ourselves, that's fine. But I think the Montana boys will always be there, and we'll always have something going on with it for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, y'all's uh, separate accounts are blowing up too, though. Now, mm-hmm. it doesn't bug you at all that you've been getting the majority of the publicity. And you still split the revenue three ways. Absolutely not. No, I think. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. So. I mean, we're kind of just like a team in it, you know. It's like mm-hmm. I don't, I, I don't know if I'd want to do this by myself, honestly. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Like, especially when we first started, maybe now, like I could trickle down and do something by myself. But when we first started, it was like there's no way I could do it by myself. Yeah. What do you see yourself if you were to break off into your own, like, and still have the Montana boys? What do you see yourself doing? Um, it's a good question. I honestly have no idea. Um, <laughs> like I really don't. I don't know. I mean, what are you passionate about? Hunting and fishing. So. That, that's something that's crossed my mind a couple times is having like my own hunting show or fishing show, you know, with a little podcasting like this in between it, you know, just talking about hunting stories or, you know, like a hunting trip. Something it's, that's like relaxed, though, not like a serious hunting show. Like, yeah, something that's kind of funny to does, watch. Does Kristen yeah. hunt? Oh, uh, she does not. You're going to take her hunting? She wants to, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. When do you think she'll go back to Montana to meet the parentals? I think you're pretty soon, probably. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. No way. I'm going back in May for a big, big paddle fishing trip. So maybe she'll come down to that. That'd be awesome. That would be. She's really busy though, so I bet it's hard to yeah, super hard busy. to lock her in for a week. Yeah. How uh, how old are your parents? Uh, my mom just turned sixty, and then my dad's sixty three. Okay, cool. That's pretty so old. Then, so then it's yeah. sa- no, that's that's good. So it's because um, the age gap between them, that's good yeah. for sure. It doesn't feel like they're both parents, you know. Mm-hmm. I could see that being a thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that would be weird. Well, that's why I was gonna like um, propose, you know, doing like a little pool and wine night at my girlfriend's house, and my girlfriend's 19, so it would be like really weird because, like, obviously I was gonna invite you, and if you wanted to bring Kristen, you could. And then I thought about well, what would it look like if Kristen came to my girlfriend's house to hang out? Like, she would have more of a chance of clicking with. Her my mom? girlfriend's mom than she would my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. Because they're closer in age. Yeah, maybe. Then again, Kristen's around a bunch of young people and she probably is, keeps yeah. her young. Yeah, she's um, pretty outgoing with that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. I'm sure she would. Yeah. 
I'm sure she's right. really yeah, yeah. yeah. But it would just be funny. Like, she would have more to talk about with her mom <laughs> than her. So what was your first date with Kristen? Um, I took her to dinner. Uh... What time? <laughs> was it one-on-one? Yeah, it, it, was, it was a 1v1. So. Yeah. A 1v1. <laughs> <laughs> a 1v1. Um, I took her to some restaurant in uh, in uh, Franklin. It was a little Italian restaurant. It was good. Were you, were you intimidated? No. I No, not really at all. I mean, really? I mean, I, mean, I was a little nervous, but I wouldn't say intimidated. We got her flowers, was, didn't you? She was talking about yeah. that, how she was flattered. Yeah, I've got her flowers a couple times. Oh, okay. Nice. So you're go-to. That's my go-to. Your go-to move. What kind yeah, of flowers smooth. do you know? Or just whatever looks nice. How, how, uh, at me. Yeah, yeah. how long were y'all talking before, like, uh, as in texting and stuff before you took her on your first date? Not, not like a long, long time, but. Because this all came on really fast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks or something. I mean, we always had a plan that we we're going to hang out when I got to Nashville, but, you know, we didn't really know where that was going to go and stuff, but we hung out and it just clicked from there and yeah, it's just been going good. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful, dude. You have one hair standing up. I can see it in the light. You <laughs> yeah, I put it. I put gel in that piece so it stood up like that. You don't like it? It looks great. Y'all see it? So, yeah, it's a new. No, you look great. Look, it's a new thing that I'm doing. Like one hair, it makes on you stand hair. out. You know, you don't want everything to be perfect. <laughs> I like that about you. Yeah, you want to throw people off, man. That's why, like, I stick my hair up and Fisher grows a half-ass mustache. <laughs> All right, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I just started. I'm kidding. I'm the biggest supporter of Fisher's mustache out here. Yeah, I was about I to say. I always tell him it looks good. I know. You hype it up. Uh, yeah, and Dalton's is pretty cool, too. Yours like, has a nice shape. I, I don't know how to. Did I get I my hair, Fisher? Where is it? Everybody's like, we want a hair tutorial. I'm like, I don't do anything. I just wake up and shake it, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all were uh, y'all were just in Mexico. with You were just mixed uh, with Kristen, right? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. I just did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to break the conversation. You, just in Me- <laughs> you, were just in, uh, you were just in Mexico with Kristen, weren't you? Yeah. Dog, no. you need to work on your transitions, dude. Bro, I'm trying to transition it, and you're talking about fucking mustaches in your hair gel. No, but you could have hey. been like... You could have like we're talking about an A list celebrity to be, over here. You have to be way more talking. like smooth about it. Whenever I start talking, I'm on my way to a big question, and you always just come in, and you're like... Okay, let's just talk about this. Luke, well, no, the everybody's the having the host. Luke, no. you be the host. You're the host dude, now. You be I, the, take it away. Okay, I think better. Luke should be the host. Luke, you do it. Luke's the dude, host. If now. I was the host, Yo. bro, it would be different. We, I'd run this thing differently. Yeah, <laughs> and your audience would be twelve-year-olds talking about picking your nose. I doubt and it, dude. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I highly doubt I'm it. I'm totally dude. kidding. I think you're great, actually, Luke. I think that you'd be a killer host. So take it over. Take it over for a little bit. Now, now you're getting nervous. No, I'm not nervous at all. The I know what I'm nervous. There's not a nervous bone in me, dude. It's not a nervous Listen, bone in me either. I'm just you're trying. throwing it on me, like okay, let's see you transition now. But you don't even know I was on my way to a transition with the whole mustache thing. What was what was it? You let's, don't even know that. Let's dude. hear. It. What's the? Give me the transition. Just flow I was going to talk about how Mexicans can grow a mean mustache, which would from change. young ages, which transitions easily into the Mexico trip, and how Mark went to Cabo with Chris and Cavalier. That would have been smooth. That and that would have been, been awesome. And, and, and it's fine that you keep, like, I'm just. You're flowing. No, you're yeah. flowing. Now we can talk about the Mexico trip. <laughs> How? Yeah, you guys hard launched in Mexico. So yeah, what, what is that did. about? I mean, you posted a video of you guys kissing and stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, we uh, we just kind of want to take it into our own hands, I think. You know, not like not let the public or the media kind of twist it and do whatever they want to do with it. So we took it into our own hands and made it what it is. Yeah, so uh, did you hard launch her with a, uh, a sound promo? No, that was a that was actually a sound that I got from a uh, fuck. What's her name? You know Tate and uh, Tate, Tate McRae. No, Tate and uh, Lynn on TikTok. No. Oh well, yeah, they, they they're they're dating, and I saw them do it, and I was like, shit, I'm gonna, I want to do that. She she hard launched you on her Instagram, and I I couldn't help myself, so I went into the comment section, and the uh, the first comment was, um, she posted, oh, she finally posted her kids because she doesn't talk about her kids a lot. How does that make you feel? I mean, that's just, you know, it's just negativity. It's just people that are either, you know, one, jealous, not happy with their life, or, you know, they're just unhappy people, and that's fine. That's just, it's a cruel world out there, man. It's a dog-eat-dog world. Mm-hmm. A dog-eat-dog so world. Dog eat dog. Do you guys talk about your age gap? I mean, not really. Like, it doesn't, it's not something that, like, comes up. It's just so, like, natural, and it just flows. Yeah, I wrote down um, a couple of people. So, uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay-Z is 48, and Beyonce is 37. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is 42, and Blake Lively is 31. Uh, Bradley Cooper has a 20-year 20, age gap, yeah. 
with uh, no. with it. So that's and, and a little the, weird. <laughs> no, but no, that's not weird because <laughs> but, but, people don't but, even speak on it. What do you think about why that's acceptable and why people seem to be kind of eating you guys up about that? Um, I think it's a whole like stereotype thing. Like it's all right for a guy to do it, but it's not all right for a girl to do it for some reason in society. And I don't really know too much about. It. I try not to dive too down in deep into it. Yeah. So, well, I don't think anybody's I don't upset about the age gap necessarily. It's a topic, like a talking point of what's going on. But they're more concerned that Mark does lip singing on TikTok. Right. Like if Mark yeah. was like a some like businessman who had a business, they probably wouldn't even be mentioning it. But that's why the one number away thing is such a meme, is because Kristen kept like she started dating right. a lip singer yeah. in a in a boy band. Boy I, band. I think yeah. another another thing on along with that is um, the fact that her previous um, relationship with with Jay Cutler, a NFL football player, and then you the first thing you click on when you go to Mark's page is Mark in a college football uniform. And he looks super young and very youthful. And then you see the NFL to the the college football player. I think that's where there, a lot of people see it. So, like, if Mark didn't have a photo of him playing college football and it was just some normal, you know, could it be model, just handsome dude, I think a lot of people would be a, a lot less relentless in the comment section with, you know, talking about that stuff. What do, what do you think about that? Like I said, man, it's just like, it is what it is. Like You don't really give a shit. Yeah, yeah. people can fucking talk about it, but at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I want and what makes me happy, so. Yeah. But there you go. I think I think it's awesome. I mean, she's I'm sure she's incredible, and um, we like you a lot, so. Yeah, it just sucks, though, for you, like, the people hating on it, because, I mean, they don't even know you. Yeah, that's They don't know anything people. about you. Does, uh, does she not give a shit what people think either? Yeah, she doesn't give a shit either. Really? Yeah. It's awesome. That is awesome. She just she was done with the old bull and she wanted the young calf. <laughs> oh <my> Dude, <laughs> bro. Dude, it's true, bro. You guys haven't seen that from Step Brothers? Yeah. Oh, and she's done with the old bull. She wants the young calf. That Man. is a good movie, though. Great. That's yeah, one of my favorite movies like... of all time. It's golden. Dude, that's a great movie. Uh, true. Mark Delicious. is Mark is the young calf on the block out here in Nashville. It's pretty electric this weekend. You guys were promoting the bar thing or some shit like that. Oh yeah, friends of low places. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. That is cool. You guys, uh, that fun. was sick. Oh yeah, I had a great. time. I felt like a celebrity dude rolling up in there in the back. Yeah, it was fun. That was fun. That was that was fun time. <laughs> was. Dude, Mark's so chill about everything. He's bro. so chill. He's just like he's just like he's yeah, just dude, a humble dude. Rolled in in a limo. They brought us in the back, and everything was free table, free this. And Mark's just like. Yeah, dude, fun time, man. It was good. Which is sad. I felt bad because your boys from back home were like, is this like something y'all do every weekend? And I was like, are you mean like going out? Or like, are you talking about the, the limo and the back entrance? Then I was like, oh, no, this is weird. Yeah, I've never done this. Normally, we actually go to a cooler bar, and there's way more hot chicks, too, <laughs> actually. <laughs> just absolutely just blowing it out of the water. Your hometown friends were sick. Yeah. I love yeah, They're all guys. genuine, yeah. nice people. Have a, uh, have a ton of people been reaching out to you, trying to get you to go out to their bars? Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We don't respond to all of them, you know, like we're going to do it if it's like, it's going to be like a guys. whole group, you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, we'll do it. Whatever we have to do if, you know, the boys are in town or if you guys want to do it and it's a whole group thing, you know what I mean? This makes it more fun. So you guys just signed with an agency uh, to help you guys out because you guys, it's hard to handle everything on your own. Right. Um, we actually are on the same agency now, right? Mm -hmm. Which is awesome. That's a, that's a good, uh, they're great. What happens when, when a brand goes to uh the montana boys and they're like we only want one of them i honestly have no idea because that's i think we're i think they just pitch us as a montana boys so i don't know that would be something they would have to handle or manage or something you know like the management would board. you would you accept a deal if the money was right and everything would you accept a deal and if it was just solo i mean yeah if it was yeah if it's for the better of it yeah i would okay yeah. cool um would, yeah i feel like that'll start happening for I mean, all y'all, y'all will all start to, at some point get your own deals, yeah. which is. I think it's gonna be. I honestly think it's gonna be cool when you guys, um, to see where you guys go with everything. There's a lot to a lot of growth for you guys because you guys are so fresh in the industry. Right. Um, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool to see where you guys go. Appreciate that. You know. Yeah. Mark's definitely gonna have some sort of modeling gig. Uh huh. For sure. Some sort. I see Mark going, um, a list style on Instagram and doing like big time photo shoots with, uh, like, like kind of like the Noah Beck style. You know, yeah, he's always posting that. on Instagram. He's always traveling, which is a tough lifestyle. Do you like to travel? I do like to travel, actually. But I don't know if I would travel by myself and doing, like, that kind of stuff. You know? Why is that? I don't know. It's going to be boring. Just, like, traveling by myself. Yeah, what if, what like, like Versace, Gucci, stuff like that started reaching out to, like, model for him in New York or something? Yeah, I'd go. I'd go. You'd do stuff like that? Yeah, for sure. Just a completely away from the country vibe? 
I could, yeah. I mean, yeah. If, if they think I fit in it, then yeah, yeah. I fit in it. You know? I mean, that'd be a solo gig. Um, what else we got, fellas? Yeah. Take over, Luke. Let's me. go. If I took over this podcast, dude. <laughs> Dude, Luke, you show up, bro. What do you mean you show views. up? You show up and your camera's not charged. You don't know what time we're filming. You just roll in and you just go. Yep, and that's what makes it beautiful. <laughs> no, beautiful. <laughs> no, you have to yeah. do research and be thoughtful with your guests and actually care about them. <clears throat> Everything has to come straight from the brain. But you got to think about it too. You got the people <clears throat> want to see, want to learn about Mark, and we want people to come to our podcast to learn about Mark. I mean, you should have some idea of who the guy is or mm -hmm. whoever you're interviewing, but you should just. Be curious of who is this person? Yeah, because re realistically, we didn't really know who Mark was. Not really. To be honest, like the whole, I feel like the whole world doesn't really know exactly who Mark is. You know what I'm saying? They know that there's this this big specimen that that is dating an A-list celebrity. A big specimen. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> big just, specimen. Dude, you got some shoulders on you. Yeah. 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 Mark might be one of the the prettiest dudes we've we've seen <laughs> we were talking about it the other day we're like dude mark is just <laughs> he, no he's a good looking guy <clears throat> yeah Appreciate fisher's it. laughing at it and being like and but, i just but thought behind it was funny scenes, how you said it no i but, said he, i always say mark's a good looking guy i feel like that's the most appropriate way to say it yeah you guys are good looking cats Without no dude i yeah, look like an cat. ogre if we if we like <laughs> film together i look like an ogre next to you i'm like no i do I feel humble oh, definitely filming with mark a little sharp nose man i got You're a big old a good piece on looking me cat, Luke. oh no dude yeah you are Oh, okay. I guess I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're handsome, Luke. Obviously, you got a rocket girlfriend. You got a lot going on for you. Yeah, I just try and be humble about it. It's hard whenever I have this much going on. <laughs> <laughs> so, one, one of the strongest twenty-year-olds I've ever met, too. By the way, we're getting there. So we're getting you're, there. You're strong. For I'm 20, back man. on my career team. Yeah. You're a big boy for 20, man. That's a game changer. Did you take your Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Every day? Yeah. Crucial to strength. It'll just make yeah. you hold water weight. You won't look yeah. as big. Are it's we getting recovery, paid? Are we getting paid for strength? Or are we getting paid to... It'll make you look better. It'll, It'll make, make your you muscles look more full. Creatine makes... Does better. it really? Yes. Give me some. Me and Mark, we're just game planning. Oh. Okay. Some next steps for the boys. Yeah. What were those next steps? Well, while Fisher's camera was dying, he owes me 500 bucks because his well, camera's dying. I bet him 500 bucks it wouldn't die. It was fully charged in my defense. Mark said he found a house that's like eight bedrooms outside Nashville. So the Montana boys and us three. That could be pretty tight. Be one of the rooms, fun. podcast room. Be unreal. I mean, do you think we're going to want our own space at some point? We all just live in the same neighborhood and have a podcast studio and a bunch of shit going on so we don't have to worry about, you know, me running around the house with my with my dreams and stuff and and Luke <laughs> in the vortex. Yeah. Oh, I think just doing it for like a little bit would be fucking fun though. Yeah. Just like yeah, even like, even like, like three six months. months yeah, three to six months just six months would be prime time, dude. Bunch of activities in the back. Yep. Let's do that in September. We we'll do that so court. fast. Yeah, get a eight, eight bedroom home. I'm in. Should we do it somewhere weird? The YouTube though? would be so fun. Yeah. Somewhere what? Somewhere weird. What would be weird? Like Albuquerque, New Mexico, or something just so <laughs> just random. Oh, so super <laughs> random, not Nashville. <laughs> like Puerto Rico, like like, yeah. like Jake and Logan Paul did. That'd be hype. Just that would be so awesome. Random. We could crush that. I'm I mean, the content, the content out there would be so good. Prior to moving to Nashville, I was talking to you guys about moving to LA. Um, obviously, you guys weren't wanting to do that. I, I'm glad we're in. I wasn't going to move to LA with 190k on TikTok. Yeah, um, but if we do continue to grow and this thing goes the right way, then it'd be pretty fun. Yeah, I ain't going to LA. Not a, I'm not saying LA. You guys yeah. were too scared to move That's out of Tennessee. You guys were I'm not scared to move out of Tennessee, but it was LA or Nashville. And those were like the two places at the time. So why would I'm I not going to LA. Two hours away. And I hate it. I've never been to LA, yeah, but I hate LA it. Sucks. <laughs> I already know I hate it. How can you know you hate something? I don't like know, that? but I hate it. It's fun to visit, but I could not live there ever, man. I'm pretty much locked in in Nashville, dude. Because I mean, I like Nashville too. Yeah, it's perfect. How does Nashville compare to Montana? <clears throat> um, I'd say it's pretty similar. You know, people are pretty friendly. Just like overall, Montana's a lot of tourists, though. Really? Yeah, honestly, like I, mean, I could see that. Yeah, mm. it's beautiful. What about like the bars and the nightlife? Nightlife here is way different. You know, yeah. it's way. I mean, Broadway just in general. Oh like, yeah. I, th I don't think anything can even match what Broadway Broadway does in and out every day. I don't think so either. It's Broadway's insane. just crazy. Yeah, it's like country life. Have you got tired of it yet? I mean, like, like um, you've been here for a month? Yeah, honestly. Yeah. It gets tiring yeah, quick. It's... Caleb hasn't. No. <laughs> He's just getting started. <laughs> yeah, he is. That dude loves going out. 
That was us when we got here too. Yeah. I, I think that Caleb loves the uh, loves the fame. He's eating it up right now. Out of the Montana boys, Caleb likes the fame the most. I wouldn't say that. I would say that Mark's locked up now, and Caleb's, you know, just a single dude that's got some hype. What is going on? I looked down, and I saw, like, these huge shoulders, nice triceps, and huge <laughs> biceps. Creatine's kicking in. Creatine. I can't believe you think creatine's bad for you. I don't think it's bad for you. I just think I've heard it holds water weight. And if you hold water weight in your stomach, then, you're, then your abs aren't going to look as good. You can have some you. diced abs on creatine. You do it right. Mark was talking about proposing to Christian, right? <laughs> yeah, I was just said that week? last one. Yeah, next week. Dang. Dang, that's quick. Crazy work. Yeah, yeah, you guys just started dating like a week ago, and you're ready to propose. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's all the buzz, you know. Could you see yourself? <laughs> all the buzz. Uh, could you see yourself marrying her? I don't, I don't even know, man. I, Long, we're I mean, we're, we're so started. fresh, but, yeah. She's super cool. Is basically the gist of it. Dude, I was, think, I was thinking about getting married, like, proposing, like, here soon. I'm serious. What? Would, I'm not wasting no time, bro. No, you're not. I was thinking about it. I was like, what is stopping me from proposing? And the only thing I could think of was that I don't have, like, a really, like, steady career right now. And I am and just having my own house. That's I mean, at any really point, though, me. you can go back to chat and get a full-time job. Yeah, that so makes why 500 you? bucks a week. Take a loan out just to get groceries. Yeah, you probably shouldn't get engaged anytime soon. Well, I was thinking about it, dude. Like, why not? Just go for it. See what happens. Exactly. Is she man. the one, bro? Is she the one? Bro? Oh, yeah, I know she is the one, but it just comes out of the time. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. That's wild. Yep. Dang. That is actually yeah. Luke's a quick. Well. Luke's He's quick with it, man. Yeah. Fisher owes me 500 bucks because his camera died, and it's ironic. Ironic. My camera died, plus I have to leave to go on a cruise, so I'm going to bounce. It's crazy. And I owe Dalton 500 bucks now. Yeah, I expect a Venmo. All over you there. Everybody, I'm going to see you all next week. Have fun, man. Finally, now it's just us. Don't be dude. part of the statistic. Yeah. Statistic. I know. 200 people. Make what, sure. what were we just talking about? Uh, how I was ready to get married. That is wild. <laughs> I'm not playing around, dude. Why waste time, dude? Like, I know that's the one. How that's long have right. you guys been dating, bro? Enough. <laughs> How long? Enough. About two and a half, three months. And you saying that you're going to marry this girl? Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. It's awesome. I'm happy for you. You guys work really well yeah. together. I just um, couldn't see me wanting something else. I mean, whenever you're dating yeah. somebody, you should have your eyes only on them. That's why you're dating them. Date to marry. Yeah. I mean, obviously, probably more time to feel it out. There, we haven't even had an argument yet, so that could be. We don't know how that goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's you a have lot to be able to argue well. So, but I'm pretty good at it, dude. I keep the same tone, very understanding. Just keep your demeanor. Everyone, just... yeah, everyone's feelings are valid. It's not me versus you. It's us versus something. I Let's like that. figure it out. That's awesome. You were yeah. one mature twenty year old, twenty year old, aren't you? I'm ready. I've always, but I've always been hanging out with older people. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like us old cats. Luke's, yeah. Luke's very mature in some aspects, like very, very mature. And then in some aspects, he's very not mature, which is like, which comes down to what we do for work and stuff. I'm sure you were way more mature when you were um, about your routine and like yeah, waking up yeah. in the morning and like taking care of yourself and not sleeping until I one. I was. Yeah. I'm mentally very mature. Yeah. But, uh, mentally, you're you're beyond your years. I can sure. turn it off though if I want to. <laughs> yeah. There's times where Luke's. The total nut job. It's awesome. That's how you have to be, though, sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keeps it fresh. Have you told her that? Yeah, I was like, and then she feels the same way, so she, we're just feeling it out. Obviously, I'd like to have something a little more um, secure as a career path. Yeah. Because I don't want to be married and going on doing TikTok live battles, you know. That wouldn't be yeah, ideal. Yeah, 100%, man. I feel that. So, I mean, it's just going to come down to what happens with my career. Where do you see your career going? Uh, dude, tell me viral, just a list. <laughs> this is back to the immaturity. Do you have a, a plan? Like, what do you want to do? Um, what excites you, dude? That's one thing. That's my biggest struggle is I don't know what excites me. Really? I don't know what I'm interested in. I think you're like your own brand or something. Yeah, something of that sort. But like, I don't have anything. I'm like, this is like Mark was talking about hunting. I don't have anything like that. Like, I don't have anything. I'm like super pumped about mm -hmm. i think you'll find it i think yeah. that's part of the process of but life i'm so young so it's like i'm not really supposed to know i mean some people find it younger but it's never going to be with the industry or in on social media it's never going to be this is what you're doing and you're yep. set for life yeah right. you know what i mean it's, it's you have all, to it keep up with flows. the trends yeah i mean keeping up with the trends and 
at some point it comes down to doing what you love. When you find what you love and what you're super passionate about is when it's going to be a lot easier for you to be content with your career. Yeah. So if it's podcasting, if it's whatever it is, it, you'll be much more content once you are like, I love doing this. And even if I don't make a gajillion dollars, yeah, if I make enough to be able to live, then you'll be able to make Yeah, that's what I'm not worried about the money thing. The only goal I have in life is to have a very tight-knit family. I want to have one wife that, you know, we're just a duo. Is that what, you, is that what you're ever. looking for, Mark? Um, yeah, 100%. I think, like you said, like family – Family is super important in my life as well. Like, as long as they're well off and stuff, that's my ultimate goal. You know. What is your What is day. your family like? Uh, um, we're we're all pretty damn close, I'd say. Are your Are yeah. your parents still together? No, they got a divorce when I was like two. My dad's from from Texas originally, and still and he lives in Oklahoma now. But are y'all tight? Yeah, I, I call him probably every day, or call my mom every day as well. What every do, other what, day. What do they think about everything that's going on? Um, they, I mean, they love it. They just, you know, they call in, you know, check on me, see if I'm doing all right. Mm -hmm. Um, they're very supportive though in everything I do. Uh, have y'all talked about Kristen? Uh, like me and my family? Yeah. Yeah, of course. What do, what do they think about her? They love it. You know, if, if I'm happy, they're happy. So mm -hmm. I think it's great. My grandparents grew up next to this guy and he's, uh, super wealthy. Mm -hmm. Whatever he wants, he can have it, but he doesn't have a family. Like he That's doesn't have awful. like everything split up and he's just alone in million dollar houses. He's alone driving his million dollar boats. I'd live in a shack with a family. Yeah, hundred percent. Be happy about it. But then it comes to a point where it's like you want to make sure your family's happy too, you know. If you have kids Yeah, in, in a way, I mean you wanna be be able to support them, but like at the end of the day, you know, things happen. Mm hmm I mean, my parents sacrificed a lot of their money to send us to good a good Christian school. And, um, you know, we, we weren't driving nice cars and we weren't, didn't have like a ton of stuff, but it was never once that I think I want, I want a nice car. And I was so grateful for the fa things that I had because that's how my, my dad was always be like, be content with what you have. You know, that's the biggest thing. You have a big success. You shouldn't be, oh, what next? This isn't enough. What next? What next? Well, if you learn to be like, this is what I have and I love it. Our cameras are dying. Well, what an absolute uh, pleasure. But, Mark, thank you so much for coming on. Seriously. Um, yes, sir. We'll be seeing him around. Um, Y'all stay tuned for some more content. We love you guys. Um, you got anything for us, Luke? That's about it, folks. That's all. See you next week. <laughs> we love you guys.